right, it's time to start off our Tuesday morning with cool temperatures, but not cold like it was yesterday. A lot of us are close to 40 or in the 40s, and I still think we get to 70 with increasing clouds before we clear out those skies in time tonight to let the temperatures fall quite a bit. And I think tomorrow morning, cooler than this morning, but not as cold as it was yesterday. Here come some of those clouds already. There's energy way up there into parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. That's about as close to us as a lot of that energy will be. And probably Atlanta is about as close to us as a lot of the showers will be. Can't rule out an isolated sprinkle or two in a few spots, but I'm not counting on very many. Not today. It's 38 degrees right now at the Tallahassee Airport, 39 in Thomasville. It's 41 in Valdosta. So, yes, cool, but seasonable, right where temperatures are supposed to be in early January. It's a little warmer in Bainbridge where it's 47. Same at Apalachicola. We're at just 40 degrees in Perry. It's only 37 degrees in Homerville, but we've got a lot of numbers that start with a four this morning. Tomorrow, most people are going to be back in the 30s. Whatever breeze we have is from the south and southwest. Now, it's not windy outside. We're not going to have enough time to bring in a lot of moisture to give this boundary something to work with when it gets here. So that's why our rain chances stay kind of slim for today. And then once we get to the other side of that boundary, we clear up for the next couple of days, which will give us some brighter skies. And we know that means more of those chilly nights. I think the next two or three nights we'll see the temperatures drop, but we'll also see those daytime highs rebound, especially once we get to the backside of this area of high pressure by Thursday, Friday. We could see those daytime highs soar through the 70s before we get to the weekend and start talking about that next cool front that you've probably heard something about already and maybe the potential for some dangerous weather over the weekend. Today is Tuesday. We're talking about the next boundary, not till Saturday at the earliest. Got plenty of time to see what happens as that system develops right now, it's not even a system yet. The future cast shows that boundary moving through the area quickly today, clearing us up and keeping us very tranquil for the next couple of days. By Thursday, by Friday, now we start looking west to see what that next energy is doing, to see how much moisture and instability gets developed, and to see where all the juice is going. So plenty of time to work on that forecast for next weekend before we get there. On the Gulf today, winds out of the west and northwest, 12 to 22, seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tides finishing up a little after 8 o'clock this morning. 30s, 40s, increasing clouds. I got the rain chances like 10%. I'm not counting on very many. We'll shoot for 70. It stays mild over the next few afternoons, but chilly the next few nights. There'll be some mid-30s tomorrow morning. And here is that extended forecast. We keep those overnight temperatures in the 30s, at least for a couple. Looks pretty dry most of the week. We'll talk about the weekend, guys, when we get closer.